All right, so I found this article on Archive from The Hollywood Reporter. DC changes Superman's motto, no longer fights for the American way. Superman is still about truth and justice, but the American way, not so much. It basically talks about now, instead of it being truth, justice, and the American way, it's truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. They talk about to better reflect the storylines that are that we are telling across DC to honor Superman's incredible legacy and blah, 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 blah you know, word salad shit. You know, that went updated, is what Jim Lee was saying. It's like, that's fucking stupid. You know, but anyway, it's, I, I'm not, I mean, I, I think it's stupid in this, you know, specifically this in the sense of it's just, it's easy or it's considered cool or trendy or whatever to uh, hate on America. You know, I think that's ridiculous. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's like, you know, then they, they, they talk about in this article here, it's far from the first time Superman's patriotic ties have been re-examined and everything. They talk about in the, the Brian Singer Superman Returns, Perry White has, does he still stand for truth, justice, all that other stuff? And then, of course, when, they, when Superman stupidly renounced his U.S. citizenship and everything, I'm tired of having my actions construed as instruments of, uh, instruments of U.S. policy. You know, and Zack Snyder, they talk here about how he had to fight to get, you know, this line in. I'm from Kansas. I'm about as American as it gets. You know, Snyder noting he had to fight to keep it. It's like, what the hell? He's fucking stupid. Now, I've also heard, I've seen an article, I'll actually bring it up here in a second, where it mentioned that the truth, justice, and the American way, the copyright on that had run out. So that, that that's, you know, one of the reasons they changed it. They probably look, you know, which, I mean, admittedly, it's not going to cost that much to get a copyright. Especially for a company this large, you know. So I mean, I don't think that really played a role in it, other than them just being like, "Oh, okay, the copyrights run out. Well, let's get something else in," you know. But I'm not really sure. It's like it's. I think it's just stupid, you know. Hell, here, here, even psychopath Mark Way. He's always been the ultimate immigrant story. What is the hope of the immigrant immigrant that at Cora promised that it would be better in America, you know? Anyway, they also talk about. Uh, how Jonathan Kent, Clark's son, has come out as bisexual. And I wanted to uh, highlight some uh, of a response that Dean Cain had, had made, who, you know, he played Superman in the popular television series Lois and Clark. This is from uh, BleedingFool.com, their article about how they're intentionally making a mockery of Superman. He said, there's a clear agenda here. It's global. This is anti-America. It's not, but it's not brave, and it's not, or it's, but it's not bold, and it's not brave. And he says, Robin, Batman's famed red-headed sidekick, came out as bisexual recently. And honestly, who was shocked about that one? The new Captain America is gay. The, dog, the character of Alex, my daughter in a live-action series, Supergirl is lesbian. A gay or bisexual superhero is not groundbreaking in 2021. It's been all. I have zero issue with that. I'm all for inclusiveness and acceptance and tolerance, but it might be more interesting, however, if they created new characters instead of retrofitting the identity of existing ones. Which is exactly dead on right. It's not groundbreaking to be gay in 2021. You know, there's there, there's not like a line of bigots hanging around around the block, you know, hanging out around the block saying, you know, oh the hell, you know, other than the Westboro Baptist people, but uh, you know, saying oh gay is bad, gay is bad. It's like that's the problem is when they when they basically try to turn existing characters into uh, propaganda for the agendas, <coughs> you know. Anyway, King continues, Brave would have been to do some of this 30 years ago, or to depict Superman or John Kent fighting for the rights of LGBT people in Iran, or they'll throw you off a building for the offense of even being suspected of homosexuality. And why doesn't Superman fight the injustices that created the refugees whose deportation he's protesting? Digging deep into those issues, that would be brave. That would be informative. I'd read that comic book. I totally agree again. Bold would be fighting for the rights of Afghan women to attend school and be able to reel it live free and go to work, and fighting for the rights of boys to not be raped by men under the supposedly newly enlightened Taliban. There is genuine evil in the, in the world, actual corruption and government tyranny, plenty of real-world things to fight against, like people being put into Chinese concentration camps because of their religion, or human trafficking, honest-to-God slavery, taking place all over the world today. It exists, right now, in our own hemisphere. Drug cartels trafficking people across the border sexually molesting young women, Brave and bold will be to tackle those issues and shine a light into that darkness. I'd love to see the character doing that. I'd read that too. Again, agree a hundred percent. This is absolutely right. It's not. It's not brave to oh, Superman's son is, is is bisexual. You know, instead of just saying he's gay. But 
he's bisexual. That's not, that's not brave. It's like this is 2021 in America. You're applauded by the mainstream media for doing that. Which I mean, I'm not, I'm not sitting there saying that that's, that by itself is a bad thing or anything. I mean, you know, it's, it's good that we're at the point where it's no, where it's not a big deal. I just wish that they would quit acting like it's a big deal. You know, anyway, t you know, talking about Tom Taylor, I wanted to highlight uh, someone else's tweet real quick. If our Superman joins other heroes in the cover of Superman, Son of Kal-El, you know, number seven, out in January. And they're protesting, you know, for climate change and stuff. And it's like, there's no plan to be, these, specifically this, you know, there's no plan to be. These are characters from an established multiverse. So there's Earth 1, Earth 2, Earth, etc. There's no plan to be. What the fuck are you talking about? You know, but anyway, but uh, here's a tweet from a uh, Chris Braley. He said, "Glad Tom Taylor says our Superman, because it sure ain't mine." Tom's bears no resemblance to Kal El, a hero who didn't waste time holding protest signs when there was evil being done in the world. Tom is a kid mockingly playing with your action figures for his own amusement, and he puts up an art or puts up a cover from *The Adventures of Superman* by Wolfman and, and, and Drawway. And Superman is lifting up an actual freaking tank. He's fighting these bad people, basically, for lack of a better term. Or he's fighting evil in the world. You know, exactly. You contrast that with this here. You know, when you're like, what the hell? Uh, he's <laughs> school strike for climate. Like, what the fuck? You know, like, what the hell, man? What is that shit? It's ridiculous. Like, what the hell have they done to Superman? You know, I, that's like the article says, DC Comics seems to be intentionally making a mockery of Superman. He's not going to protest, he's going to take action, because he can, because he's got the power to help people, protect people. Anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap this up here, I don't want to make this too long, I've already gone seven minutes. Um, I just wanted to talk about that and highlight Dean Kane's comments and stuff of that nature. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.